Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to discuss today, including more on the modern cosmic ray maximum. We've got storms, top science news, and of course, our star. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star looking relatively calm. The large plasma filaments we saw in red to begin are all at the limbs around the side, and the bright active region incoming on the south has lost all of its umbra over the last 24 hours. Definitely could see dark spots yesterday, not anymore. Solar wind is very calm with the middle panel, plasma speed in purple, below 400 kilometers per second for the last 72 hours. We do expect the solar wind from that southern coronal hole to reach Earth towards the weekend. You can see the end of the line of that coronal hole swinging through today. Let's look at the satellites, water vapor, long wave, and lightning. We had more confined flows and downpours heading into sunset. No flow towards the upper Midwest and West states this time. The deluge came down hard in the center of the country, however, flash floods, and when this individual, eight miles from where I lived, did a live post to Twitter, I ran outside to see what was overhead. There was only one notable step leader to return stroke, but the breakouts within the cloud layer only, like someone spilled water on an internal circuit, seemed to be unable to stop snapping and arcing. It was literally the same part of the cloud tossing each of these. Let's go next to Mexico, where footage and word is coming in about a hailstorm that hit over the weekend and killed one. We do always want to note these events when they become deadly. Let's go to the links, where people are indeed doing amazing things with the Hawaii volcano data. This 3D interactive may require a tune-down of mouse sensitivity, as you can see me learning to use it there. But it was worth it. Very, very cool. And speaking of cool, a study on earthquakes in the cold slab, where every blot echo in history has occurred. This focuses on them specifically, describing anisotropic rocks and containment within the slab, not only at the low velocity zone of the mantle, but down deeper towards the transition zone as well. Up next, we've got word that spectroscopy of a stellar collision is revealing an especially toxic molecule as it's spewing into space. Aluminum monofluoride. That's right, degenerative brain disease and lower IQ packed into one little package. Very happy that is far, far away. But something happening right here. When both northern Greenland and Mexico City reported record cosmic ray levels this year, a polar and low latitude combination, we officially declared the modern cosmic ray maximum. We are now awaiting the global ensemble of detectors to catch up, and it looks like the USA is going to be first on the list, at least in California, where enough data exists now from Tony Phillips and Earth to Sky Calculus to demonstrate that we are entering new territory. Nobody alive has seen the level of cosmic rays we will see the rest of our lives and beyond. Folks, the first edition was a Cliff's Notes. This is a textbook. Second edition of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun is open for pre-order around lunchtime today. But also, today is the last day to enter the drawing for Observer's Gear and where someone will win tickets to Observing the Frontier 2019. Sign up is on the Deeper Look page of SuspiciousObservers.org. We'll do the drawing tomorrow. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.40 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.